Good morning. We're getting ready to go in the car, of course. And um, today what I put on first was the Green Goddess because I love this stuff. Let me tell you what it is doing. Any kind of like imperfections or anything, it is just drying up completely. I had two little, I had a little acne breakout just um, a few weeks ago and um and there was one little spot right here and then this one right here and then this one right here i had three little spots and and in just really really i believe a week and a half's time these two have faded very nicely so they're almost gone and then the other one never did even come to anything it just it just went away so thank you green goddess so today we're using the green goddess facial oil you put that on first because it is an oil and it the oil cannot penetrate through other creams and moisturizers and serums and then today i am trying for the very first time the belief belief moisturizing balm um moisturizer I used it yesterday and I think I really like it. And then next up, I put on the primer. This is something that is coming and I believe um, they also have this in Sephora and Ulta, VDL Lumi Layer Primer. I used this yesterday and my makeup went on so smooth. So we're gonna try it again. We're gonna use it again. And I like it, it's kind of like pearlized. So we always go like upward, upward stretching. What I do need to put on is my eye. So this is a primer and a primer just sets your skin for any makeup that you put on it. Now, before I forget, so I put my primer on. My skin is primed with the VDL. This is new. Before I forget, let me not forget my deep puffing serum. We're gonna put that there. Deep puffing serum. Okay, and just tap, 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 You use this finger because this finger is, um, applies the lightest amount of pressure. So you put that on there. And my bags under my eyes are supposed to go away. Next up is some foundation. Now, I feel like I am ahead of the game because normally... I don't even get a chance to do my makeup until about 11 o'clock when I go to the retirement home. So I just use a drop. I'm using the Ink Lasting Foundation um, and I have three different colors. I kind of mix them together sometimes, just kind of depends on the day. And I really do like how this feels. Um, one of these is a a w 30 and one of them is a neutral 40 and the one that i use the most is the the neutral 40 and i just use a drop and when i say a drop a drop okay look at that little drop right there and i just put some spots on there and then and then rub it in and i use my fingers because I get a little bit more control that way. So I just used a drop and just lightly covered up my any imperfections. So just a drop, drop, other side, and rubbed it all in. Uh oh, there's a problem up there. So, in that case, that's going to act like as a concealer right there. But we rub it in. And 
And then, you know, a little drop on the chin and, and my mustache area. And, you know, blend it, blend it down. That's usually the hardest part with makeup is blending it. Um, I just use a drop because I am very hard to color match. Very, very, very hard. So, I think that looks pretty good. Okay, so this was W, no, this was neutral, neutral um, 40, neutral 40. Next, I put on some A light eyeshadow layer on first. I do know that much. So this is the, um, the mono, mono color palette. And I put the lightest shimmer shade on first. And put it all up there. For some reason, I can always do the right eye a little bit better than the left eye. I don't know if that's because I'm left-handed. How are we doing? We're doing six minutes. And you guys, you know, I got to go. Got to go. Today, I'm going to the retirement home. And then I do put a little bit up here, a little lighter color up here. They say to put that up on the up on the bone up there. So I'll put that up there. And then let's do another <laughs> shimmer color. And I put this in a brown. I'm gonna put this on the bottom. There we go. I do like my browns. I like this color here. This mono, um, mono pop eyeshadow does come in browns. This is the corals. It also comes in browns. I don't have the browns, but since I use so much browns, I think that that might be my next purchase. So then I just put something in the crease here. Because I think that's what you do. And try to blend it. You know how eyeshadow does. Eyeshadow, you know. Eyeshadow sometimes does what you want, it, what you don't want it to do. So I just blended it. This is a quick, a quick makeup job, very quick. Um, and then I just kind of go back over because. I may have made some mistakes. <laughs> so I just kind of. All right. Next up, we're going to put a little blush on. The cushion blush in coral. And they say to smile and get your the apples of your cheeks. And I just go like that. And it gives a natural glow. All right, so natural my glow old going my on. favorite eyeliner in the whole wide world, Twilight Sparkle. Please, Avon, never get rid of Twilight Sparkle because it is my favorite. I have always worn a blue instead of a black, and a lot of times people ask me, you know, what color it is, and because it it kind of appears to be black, but blue is like it almost looks neutral so i always wear the blue in the twilight sparkle again um this is like kind of a shimmery blue And then Love at First Lash Mascara. This is one of the um, top selling mascaras that we have. I love it. It does get your lashes quite long and full and not gloppy.
like this one a lot. And you know, I, I just put, I didn't put the applicator back in. This is just one, one time. Them. They're coming together. And this has like a little shimmer to it. Hard to talk and put. Lipstick on at the same time. <laughs> so this is one color. It's it's a matte finish. But it's got a shimmer to it. A little bit of a shimmer. So I put this color on top. And it turns it kind of pinky. Kind of iridescency. and this is the um it's called sand so the world today. guys i'm done there we go all right guys have a great day bye